Vice President Mike Pence tells the men and women of the Atlanta Immigration and Customs Enforcement Field Office that they have the full support of the White House. Yeah, he arrived in Atlanta alongside Governor Brian Kemp and Senator David Perdue. Meanwhile, another local congressman says a deal on immigration is right around the corner. 11 Alive's Ron Kruger joins us live from the ICE Atlanta Field Office, which is one of the busiest in the country. Ryan? Yeah, Ron, in fact, the vice president specifically mentioned a big arrest that happened just last night in Clayton County, saying that ICE field agents here in Atlanta picked up an international criminal who was wanted. Now, the vice president says that the thanks to the men and women of the field office here in Atlanta, that Georgia and the city of Atlanta are safer every day because of the work they do. He said he came to Atlanta to say thank you to the men and women who were in that room, and he also pushed for the president's border wall while he was at it. I don't have to tell all of you that walls work, and we're going to build that wall, we're going to secure our border, and we're going to continue to support the men and women of ICE here in Georgia and all across the country. Now, we did get a chance uh, just a minute ago to speak with State Representative Brenda Lopez from Norcross on the phone. Now, she told us there is no crisis on the southern border, saying it's all a manufactured idea. Back over on the Republican side, we did get a chance today to speak with Republican Congressman Rob Woodall from Lawrenceville. Now, he actually told us he thinks a bipartisan deal on immigration could come within the next couple of years. Uh, that both... Uh, uh solves our visa challenges such that it's easy to come and work uh, and contribute uh, in America, uh, solves our border security challenges so that it's hard uh, to smuggle in weapons, uh, drugs, uh, and participate in human trafficking, and uh, restores confidence uh, that uh, has been lost over, uh, golly now, 35 plus years of inaction. And while Vice President Pence was complimenting the men and women of ICE, he made sure to take some shots at the city leaders here in Atlanta, specifically Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms and her decision last summer to end the city jail's relationship with ICE. We'll explore that coming up tonight on Up Late. Cheryl? All right, Ryan, we'll see.